Hi guys, how are you doing today? I'm in Queensland, Australia. This is a very old Aborigines pattern. It comes actually from the Aborigines, which is worldwide very famous now. This is me, I'm Aurena Gatifola. I'm the admin of the Arcturian group. I'm a healer, I'm a seer, I'm a multidimensional being, and I'm just sitting here. I went for the movie Black Panther. Um, I love Marvel movies because they always have a lot of light codes and some de not I don't want to say light codes but they have a lot of codes when you watch them it can like activate you a lot and watching Black Panther made me so sad because there were two like two amazing uh, superhuman um, civilizations uh, the, the Black Panther civilization in Africa and then the one in the water and then they were fighting instead of sitting together on the table or wherever and communicating and finding a solution if you haven't watched it just watch it um, it made me just so sad when they fought each other being so strong instead of helping each other and that kind of uh, reminded me of the old Lemuria and Atlantean time when there were superhumans and they fought each other instead of working together then we had this huge atom war kind of a thing and then the world broke and came in disbalance and whatsoever and so forth so I want to talk about to you um, I see here the Aborigines and it makes me so sad to be honest I don't like the energy of Australia I'm so sorry for saying that I know people love it I just feel like crying all the time. I was in Melbourne and I saw the people like robots. I'm here. Nature is amazing, but at the same time, I, I, I can't feel the roots here. I can't get into the water because the crocodiles are there. Um, and then I see the Aborigines and they look like so wasted. They look so, so, so broken. They look broken. Um, but I actually wanted to talk about something totally different today. I'm so sorry But what reminded me when I want I was in Cairo I always wanted to make a video about the pharaohs having a certain position and when I watched Black Panther today um, They kept doing the same position. I just um, going to place my phone so I can explain it to you Okay, so I, I Hope you can see me so in the Black Panther movie they always did like this as a greeting or the sea people did like this as a greeting but when i was in in cairo um there are a lot of pharaohs right and um when you see the pharaohs my hair is a bit messed it doesn't matter they always lie like this you see the scepter and then you see them being like this in the tomb and then when i went into the great pyramid i had like a lot of energy going through my body and that's like my body whole my body was vibrating uh, it's not about absorbing. Thank you, Onel. It's just um, whatever I do is like when I travel, I connect with Earth, and then I get a lot of information because that's what I do. It's not about absorbing. It's about transforming. And while I talk about it, experiencing it, it brings a lot of healing to the place and, of course, knowledge to the people. Um, so. It's just that what I'm noticing it makes me sad. I don't have to live here. I'm not going to be here forever, so it's okay. But still, you know. And then today, a, ta a taxi driver told me that most of the Aborigines live actually on the island. So whoever's from Australia, you can always correct me. I'm new here, but always share your knowledge. So, um, and mostly from the British culture, I guess, or they are like all here on the mainland. And then the Aborig Aborigines who are here, actually, they are like, um, they are like, they look broken. So, anyways, coming back to the pharaohs. So when this huge energy went through me, and the whole of Cairo was very strong. It's like I had muscle pain. I didn't do much, but it was a very strong energy. That's I, I'm not a fan of yoga. I used to do it when I was very little. I used to do it by myself. Um, I love more Tai Chi, Qigong. Uh, Kung Fu because it brings the body in balance you learn like how to canalize the energies But when I was in Cairo, I noticed okay That's the time when you yoga is really helping for stretching and bringing the energies through your body So I don't suggest to do yoga every day. I suggest doing yoga in a very high high voltage energy place 
and um, that was again a confirmation why I don't use yoga just generally anywhere and why my body is asking for something else but when I was in Cairo in the pyramids that's when I used in the evenings to do like a stretching to bring the energy into like it flows through my body so then one more thing is we have the left side and the right side of the body and when you are familiar about kinesiology you will know that till here the left side of the body is connected to the right brain and the right side of the body is connected to the left brain so just imagine you have a lot of energy flowing through your system it can't go straight it has to go from the right brain to the left side and from the left brain to the right side did I say that right from the left brain to the right body from the right head to the left body so I noticed when I was lying in those tombs and no not everyone is allowed to do it but people were somehow recognizing me letting me in and I would sing and like uh, do the vocals like I you so like an, ah. so I would like do the vibration and I would also see how the stones and the place and the temples react towards the sound I'm making and every pyramid was reacting different to different sounds it was amazing and my body would vibrate and then I realized when they do this lying in a very high vibrational tomb pyramid wherever because those used to be um, power points they used to create free energy which did help humanity to heal but also to protect and to su um, supply free energy to the whole of the planet it's just the opposite of what we have right now the power plants we have make people sick and the energy is not free so it's a very different energy vibration and all together so those days where are you I missed the start but her cross water so take it up north yes I'm going to Alice Springs and then I will go to uh, Adelaide so you can watch the video when I upload it okay it will be like uploaded after I have done this so then I realized when we have the body is crossing so that the energy doesn't hurt us the energy doesn't harm us that's when we had initiations in the pyramids in Mexico and all over the world and the energy is very strong I'm a hundred percent sure there's an, an spaceship or something underneath the soil in Cairo and all over Egypt there's some because it's unnatural either they're like high voltage crystalline tombs or temples there it's I have never experienced a high energy like this so when you cross your arms even in kinesiology you will actually align the meridians the chakras and the body from the brain to the body like as I explained it to you so I figured out when they did this the pharaohs it was really for the initiations to get the energies in alignment and it was very I know I have I was there like almost like two months ago I'm just going to walk around a little bit and it was very um, intense but whatever informations I get I will always share them with you I just wanted to share this because people always think why did the pharaohs do this but that was one of the main reasons to align the, uh, the energies because when I was lying there and the energies energy the light everything goes straight but in your body it's not supposed to go straight because of how we are operate how our body is created so if you cross your arms it will really help you to align the energies even and there's one more thing is in kinesiology oh, I just left there is an exercise if your brain okay this is a grounding exercise I always do the different ways of grounding yourself you can ground yourself in your heart as a star seed it's most important to be in your body but sometimes when you have a lot of stress and you're not fully in your body what you do is you cross your arms and let me just show this to you I'm in public but I don't care it's okay let me show this to you this is an exercise I even uploaded in my healing tools so even if you have a child and your child has learning issues or differences you do it like this okay this helps your brain to get back in balance your left and right brain and also to be able to absorb something easier when you have stress or when you need to learn something like for example languages or whatsoever so this is something I experienced um, 
I haven't gone much more into detail about it, but I think this is something which explains a lot of things, especially when people have memories about past lives dying in initiations. Those were also like, it's about the energy. Is your body prepared to receive all the really high energies? When I do starseed and healer activation, I always make sure that I prepare the body for the high frequent soul parts which they come back into your body. Because they of course can't be incarnated, you have to leave them behind because Earth used to be a dense planet, but now the energies are rising and your whole, whole frequent soul parts want to come back which people say, oh, um, it's um, how they call it when a person dies and then it's a walk-in. It's not a walk-in, that's bullshit. A walk-in is a soul part from you, which is so high and full of energy, which you feel it's not a part of you, but it's a part from you, otherwise it can't come back in. I had that. It is very intense and if your body is not prepared, it fucking hurts like a bitch and you get sick and your whole body is upside down, okay? So I learned from experience and whatever I do, I try to teach people and to educate people. This is what I came here for, but with love and with knowledge and wisdom and always in connection with Mother Earth and Father Heaven. So this is uh, Karns. <laughs> so I'm going towards the beach side and tomorrow I'm going to the Barrier Reef. Um, so I'll talk to you guys soon. And if you're interested in any activations or whatsoever, please reach out to me. I can help you with that because my duty is, is to help you to remember who you are and to be stepping into your own full power so that you can be by yourself, but you don't have to be by yourself, but you can and you're not depending on anyone else. This is what is most important. Bye, guys. <laughs>